Hey everyone, Boom Shaka here. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Uh, it is 8 a.m. here on February 1st. So it is a new month and I'm really quite excited for it because I have a lot of goals and a lot of different things that I want to do in February. I'm here in Chiang Mai for the whole month, so I have 28 whole days to work on my stuff, create stuff, write books, create video courses, do all of these amazing things and just be a demon, a content creating demon. Today's video, today's live video is all about generosity and I, I, I wanted to talk about this because I've been having a lot of conversations about people who have a hard time receiving gifts. And I've had this conversation with a lot of people that I truly love and admire. These are really great friends of mine, but they have this thing inside of them that uh, does not allow them to receive gifts. So if someone buys them even like a, a dollar, an ice cream worth a dollar, they feel like they owe this person something and they feel like they should re reciprocate in some way so that they're even with that individual. They have a hard time owing stuff to people. Um, they have a hard time receiving money or gifts, things like that, right? And I know a lot of us can relate to that because I know I was exactly the same a, a while back, uh, not that long ago. And so I had a really hard time receiving gifts, receiving anything really, receiving help especially was really hard for me. Um, I want to go out on, an, on my own and I don't want to receive any help. I don't want to receive any money. I don't want to receive any gifts. I don't want to receive anything because I feel like I owe someone something and I hate that feeling of owing someone something, right? But I started learning about the universal laws of the universe, universal law, the seven universal laws. And one of the laws in that is obviously the law of giving and receiving, which a lot of us are aware of, but there's also a law of generosity, which is just a sub law beneath the law of giving and receiving. Generosity, it is said, is not only about receiving, sorry, not only about giving. So when you're being generous, it does not only mean that you're giving to someone. Thank you, Leo, uh, Leonella. Um, it's not only about giving to someone, but it's also about receiving. So when you're being generous, it actually encompasses the bo both sides of it. Not only are you, should you be comfortable giving. So you're a generous human being, you give money to people, you give time to people, you give help to people, and that's awesome. That is what the typical definition of generosity is, right? So you're a very kind, generous person. Oh my God, you give so much. The other side of the coin, because the flip side of the coins, all there's always a flip side. Remember this. Whenever you think of something, there's always a flip side to it, and both of those sides actually make up the whole. And so generosity is also about receiving. When you are a generous human being, not only are you giving a lot, but you're also receiving a lot. And you're comfortable receiving. You're joyful while you receive. When you're receiving something amazing from someone else, be it money or help, you thank the universe for it. You do not say, oh, I, I, I feel like I owe someone this. Oh, I feel terrible. I shouldn't have, give, I shouldn't have received. I, I need to get back to them as soon as possible, etc. Because, you know, basically you're sending the, the message to the universe that you are not a good receiver. And it doesn't matter how great you are at giving. If you're not a good receiver, you're not being completely, truly generous. And the universe is going to realize that fact. And it's going to try and correct that through karma, through whatever it might be. So if you want to truly be the kind of person who receives a lot of goodness coming into their life, which we all want to, we want to be manifesting stuff. And where do you think manifesting comes from? You're not manifesting things out of thin air. You're manifesting it out of people. So when I want to manifest money, a lot of times it comes from my parents because they're such kind, generous individuals and they want to take care of me because I am their child, their firstborn child. And a lot of times I'd feel uncomfortable with that. I'd feel so, so sad about it because I'm like, oh my God, I'm taking from my parents. I should be giving to them. And so I felt uncomfortable taking from them. But that is not right. There are individuals who have raised me who are interested in my full growth. They want to give to me. They worked so hard. They sacrificed so much so that they could be generous with me. 
And then when I brush it off and I don't receive from them, it means basically I'm brushing them off and their sacrifices and their hard work and their generosity. I'm not receiving in the kind spirit that is intended. So now, no matter where money comes at me, no matter where stuff comes at me from, I'm always receiving it with an open heart and with joy in my heart. So sometimes, it happens to me all the time, I was sitting on a bench in Kerala, I was just sitting there chilling, watching the sunset, and this Korean lady sat down next to me, I realized she was Korean, um, I don't know how, and I said, oh, annyeonghaseyo, because I, I have been to Korea this last year, and I learned a few words, kamsamida, annyeonghaseyo, and she was so delighted with that, and she wanted to give me a present, so she found, she almost threw her bag, she found a pen, a gel pen, it was from Korea, and she's like, I want you to have this as a gift. She didn't have anything else, but she wanted to give this to me. And normally I'd be like, oh no, no, I don't want it. Thank you so much. La, la, la. But now I know that the universe wants to give me things and I'm accepting all of the things that the universe wants to give me. Every single little thing. It does not matter how big it is. It does not matter how small it is. I am here to receive because I want to propagate the law of generosity in my life. So I said thank you to her. I said thank you to the universe. Thank you, universe, for being loving towards me in this strange place that I'm in. And thank you for sending me this gift. And thank you for loving me so much. And I received this gift, and I write my journal with it every morning. The ink is running out, but every single I write with, every single time I write with it, I think about that time when the universe was so generous to me, and I bring more feelings of generosity into my heart. It doesn't mean a lot of times when you're generous or you're receiving generosity, that you need to be generous to the same person. For example, I'm never going to see that lady ever again. Well, I shouldn't say that, but it's very rare that, or very unlikely that I might see her again, because I don't know when I'll get to Korea again. I don't know when she would ever come to Chiang Mai or Toronto. So, in my opinion, maybe I'll ne never get a chance to be generous to her, although I was already generous with her by learning her language and being kind to her all that. But, I'll never get to kind of give a pen back to her or any kind of physical item. So maybe in that regard, I might be like, I'm not being generous to her. But generosity is a worldview. It's a collective thing in the universe. So you can be generous to someone else in the universe and the generous, the collective generosity of the universe increases. The same thing happens with happiness, right? Some people are like, oh, why should I focus on my happiness? I'm being selfish. But when you are happier than where you were yesterday, the collective happiness of the universe increases, the collective happiness of this world increases, and that is important. The same thing applies to generosity. If I was receiving from this end, and then I can go on and be generous to someone else on the other end, then the collective generosity of this world increases. I don't necessarily need to be generous to the person who gave me stuff. So my parents are so generous to me, I will be generous to them in certain ways, but what a lot of them, what they want me to do is that they want me to be generous in the world. So when I am in a country like Thailand or in India, they want me to give back. So I volunteer here, um, I have actually donated to schools for the blind in India. Uh, when I was in Kerala, I gave, uh, you know, I was generous to the people around there. I supported the local lenders as much as possible. So I'm actually increasing the level of generosity in the world by giving back, maybe not to the same person that gave me stuff, but to the world in general. And that is a law of generosity for you guys. Generosity doesn't necessarily mean that you're great at only giving. It definitely means that you're great at receiving as well. So stop thinking about the fact that, oh, I don't want to receive because I don't want to be cruel or unkind or whatever you know the, the blocks that you have in your head. The next time anyone wants to offer you a compliment or um, a pen or something small or something big, if they want to offer you a scholarship or thousands of dollars to run your business, take it. Take it with generosity and joy in your heart, knowing that you will be able to offer this generosity, repay it back, pay it forward sometime in the future. And you can receive it the joy in your heart. So when you receive it, have this, you know, mental thing where you say to yourself, thank you universe, thank you whoever it is for giving me this. I'm so grateful for this kindness, this generosity that you've shown me today. It kind of reminds me that I am generous 
in the general scheme of things and I it reminds me to give back to the world but also receive so receiving is a big part of generosity if we cannot truly receive the kindness and joy in our heart we will not be truly generous and I know all of us want to be that person, that we aspire to be that person who's generous, kind, and giving. Well, start learning how to be receiving as well. Learn how to receive with grace. Receive a compliment of grace. And someone tells you, you are beautiful. Do not brush it off. Look them in the eye and tell them, thank you. Thank you for all of your compliments. Thank you for thinking that I'm beautiful. And thank you, universe, for this compliment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Rain and Leonella. Thank you so much for your comments. I'm, I'm so appreciative that you guys are listening to me today. Again, generosity is both about receiving and giving. So the next time you have the opportunity to practice this, when someone compliments you, when someone gives you something physical or not physical, tangible or intangible, thank them. Look them in the eye with no shame at all. There is no shame in receiving. There's no shame in giving. So look them in the eye with no shame and say thank you for giving me this gift today. And maybe I'll repay you in the future or maybe I'll give it to someone else. But generosity is all about receiving as well as giving. Again, I've said this several times, so I hope it ingrains it in your head so you can practice in the future. So today, take an opportunity to practice generosity as receiving, not only as giving. Again, if you guys find this video is useful, please do invite your friends into the group or share them with your friends. I really appreciate this. And again, my name is Vumi Shaka. I hope that you guys have an amazing day or amazing night wherever you are in the world. I'll talk to you, to you the next time around. Bye for now.